What's going on guys? So today we're going to do a deck focused around a newish card. Uh, it's called Dryad. <clears throat> so this is the showcase card of the video. I uh, should have done this one probably last week when the card dropped, but I uh, got a little distracted doing some other videos and actually just kind of forgot about it and thought I had already done this video, but uh, realized I was missing Angel Oak, which is one of the cards... <clears throat> This uh, requires, and because I did not have it, I uh, kind of put the video off until I finally did get it. So uh, let's see what this card does. It says, uh, when played, if your deck contains Angel Oak, your Tremendous Tree and Mythical Creature cards gain plus 12 until played, and then repeat if your deck contains Willow the Wisp. So we can get potentially a nice plus 24 buff on our Trees and Mythical Creatures. So we only have six of those in this deck total. We did, we did three trees and three mythical creatures. And reason being is because I wanted to add in Statue of Liberty. I've been liking this card the more I play with it. Um, doing these 666 type decks. With, so this one specifically has six science, six arts and culture, and six um, life on land cards. So we're going to get that nice plus 21 until played for all of those cards, <clears throat> basically our entire deck. And then we also have, as another nice buff, we have Dark Web, which is going to give several of our cards that potential for plus 25 permanently, which is really nice. So you can see we have a lot of expensive cards in this deck, 85, a lot of power cards, 53, 55, 88, 90. So a lot of cards are going to get triggered by that Dark Web. Uh, so let's check out the rest of the deck. <clears throat> This deck has been tending to go a little late, so um, we tossed in hell for the late game. Uh, we've got Agatha Christie, a newish card I haven't really shown much. Figured to try it out in this deck. <clears throat> so when drawn, your arts and culture cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 until this is returned to your deck. And your history cards gain, uh, or wherever they are, lose 20 power until this is returned to your deck. So we don't have any history cards in our deck, right? So that's why this card kind of works here and then uh, we are going to get that plus 10 on all the rest of our arts and culture cards so basically another 50 power on five of our other cards because we're not really going to play agatha we're just going to kind of hold her <coughs> so going to get a little extra power at least nothing crazy just figured i'd test her out see what i thought you guys can kind of decide when you see how she plays uh next up japanese yen uh just a nice discount when we draw it for our cards Probably don't really need it this week since this is a little bit higher energy week, but I would kind of already built this deck on the basis of last week, so I'm just going to kind of roll with it anyway. <clears throat> don't really feel like tweaking it now. So you guys can check it out. It's, it comes in handy, though, when it's kind of a lower to mid-range week when you, you know, when the energy's like that. So uh, next up, I've got General Sherman. Going to be a nice debuff on our opponent for 30 for the round. That's going to be one of our trees for Dryad buff, along with Pando, who's also going to buff everything else in your deck. Uh, Phoenix, just another mythical card we wanted to add. It's going to get that nice burn on our opponent's cards. <clears throat> We've got the newish Lich in our deck as well, going for that permanent power. So if you're trailing by 50 or more, you get the 10. If you lost at least one round, you'll get 10. And then if you lose the turn, you get 10. We've got number 42. Uh, just a nice card, gives a nice little plus nine buff to everything in our hand for six turns. <clears throat> Jet car is going to be one of the finishers for the deck. Typically want to hold this uh, as we're approaching the last round. What we think is the last round, we want to play this on that last turn. So we get that plus 80 on both of our cards there. Dark Web we already talked about. We've got Willow of the Wisp, which is a requirement for Dryad. When returned, if you lost the turn, gain plus 50 for two turns. So nice potential on that card. Art Deco, again, just for the energy that we, we would have needed last week. Probably don't need it as much this week. So you could, if you wanted to, swap Art Deco, I would say. And potentially Agatha or uh, Japanese Yen. Just kind of <clears throat> testing some of these out. But as far as energy, though, we probably don't need Art Deco this week or Yen. But... We're going to try them out anyway. Uh, we've got Angel Oak as a requirement for Dryad as well. And don't really care that much about the ability. It's probably not going to really trigger very often. 
but it does buff itself, the 28, so that does help. But occasionally we'll get it next to Sherman or uh, our other tree, the uh, Pando. Uh, our last mythical creature is Dwarf. I just like the nice buff slash debuff it gives. We've got Doomsday Clock, going to get hit by the Dark Web. So that's one of the reasons we added it, just another Dark Web trigger. And then if it's turn three, it does get a nice buff of 85. So that card can be really strong, really impactful. And we have the Hope Diamond as our last card. We do have a lot of cards because of Dark Web that are above 50. And this card gives them each a buff of 45 when played. So nice there. Uh, that's the deck, though. <clears throat> Let's go take her for a spin. Hopefully we can get some wins with it. Played a, a deck a little bit ago that was a pretty good deck. I mean, it was... Definitely, uh, you can tell he was built as a top tier deck. Had all the Planet X and you know all the all the big chunky meaty cards in there, and I ended up winning. So I was uh, quite impressed with the deck. <clears throat> but as always, good time to say if you guys enjoy the content, please uh, smash that like button. I feel like you know I get about 150 to 200 views every time I post a video, but I only get like five likes. So I don't I don't understand why nobody likes my content, but. I guess, I guess it just sucks. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, if you like the content, please uh, smash that like button and uh, hit the subscribe button down in the bottom right. Definitely helps the channel out. We are trying to get this thing a little larger. But uh, try to grow this uh, thing. We can get cards in the universe out there to people. Hopefully we'll get more player base that way. It would be nice to get a lot more player base, I feel like. <clears throat> Don't know about you guys, but I'd rather be playing real people instead of bots. All right, looks like we're up against somewhat of a science brew. He's got Eureka, so probably going to see a lot more science cards. Grim Reaper. So Grim Reaper hit our hell there, unfortunately. Hate to see it. <clears throat> There's our Japanese yen making everything nice and cheap. So we are behind, so we could we could play... Uh, well, I guess it's if you lose the round, though, huh? Yeah, we'll play him anyway. Let's get the buff here, and 164. Let's go with yen. I don't want to get too far behind here. I could see why somebody would want to go hell there, though, just to try to get the Lich buff. But I didn't want to put myself too far behind in case he had a nice big turn. Because I, I wanted to be able to win this. So that's why I went that, that direction instead. But I wouldn't have faulted anyone for playing hell instead. All right, next up, I'm going to definitely get Doomsday Clock down. Uh, we're not losing, but I want to keep it on rotation for uh, the third turn. So let's, we're going to do that. <clears throat> Putting it in that third slot there keeps it on rotation as long as we play three cards. I don't want to play Agatha. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to do it like this. Hopefully it's enough. Doesn't look like it. Oh, what is tower buff us? I guess it is enough. Well, I'll take that. Thank you very much. I'll take that plus 100. <clears throat> All right, going into round two here. We're going to get that dark web buff. Nice plus 25 there. So we definitely want to get Sherman down in round one, or turn one here. Let's get dark web back. And do I want to go with Willow? Don't, uh, what's he, he's probably got the lover's combo there, right? Only playing two cards. So maybe we will lose. So maybe we do it like that. Let's see. There it is. Lover's combo. But did I... Maybe I dinged him too much to actually lose here. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, I won by four. It's unfortunate we don't get that 100 from Willow. Should have went with the... Should have went with the hell, huh? Let's do it like this so we can get our buff. Nice 456 already. So this deck can get quite large quite quick. I 
like I said, I was keeping up with some pretty decent Planet X type decks that are putting big power down at the end of the game. So I think it's a pretty interesting build. This is turn three, so we're going to go for broke here and play the jet car. Try to win this. Not bad. I'll take 500 power on round two. I think that's good. <clears throat> All right. On to round three. Let's see if our opponent can start putting some power down. Start catching up here. Don't even need to play hell this game, do we? Pando's gonna spread the love again to the rest of our deck. <clears throat> Another Eureka. So he's uh, gonna get that nice buff there. Plus 16. Do it like this. Oh, I'm playing two cards, so we're probably gonna win. Unfortunately, because I was hoping Lich would trigger, but <clears throat> could have opted not to play it. But I think it's all right. I'm just gonna go for the win right here. We are behind too, so Doomsday is gonna trigger. That's always nice. Look at that. Nice 226 there. Do we just go for the throat and play Agatha? Probably. I don't think he's going to be able to put that much power down. Maybe. We'll try it. Could be a mistake. Wouldn't have faulted anybody for playing safe there. I'm a gambling man. There we go. So that's game, guys. You can see his deck just ran over him. But we will do one more so you guys can see it one last time since that was so quick. Yeah, I like the deck though. The, the Dryad I think is a lot better than uh, people think. Especially if I hadn't have done Statue of Liberty, I think she would have put a lot of, like she buffs, a 24 buff is quite significant. Especially if you build your deck to where the majority of your cards are getting that 24. <clears throat> I'll probably do a, another deck here soon for Mythical Creatures. I might play her in it again and just try to do like primarily Mythical Creatures this time. Obviously, we have to add Angel Oak and Willow, but um, I'm thinking maybe just the rest just stuffed with Mythical Creatures and we just see if we can make it work. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm still debating. <coughs> I've got like 10 decks I need to make for you guys, and I just <laughs> got to get around to it. All right. Up against the Statue of Liberty deck. Nice Planet X as well. Those are just running rampant right now with the high energy weak. There we go. We got both our triggers there on Lich and Willow. Just getting a nice plus 60 going into this next round. Dark Web plus 25. That's nice. Let's get it back in our deck. And kind of want to toss out Hell. Even though it's keeping us behind. Ooh, do I do that? 
Maybe not. Maybe I maybe I do it like this. See if I can catch up first. If I can't, then I'll, I'll toss it next turn. Yeah, we're gonna probably have to toss it now. Go ahead and lose this first round, most likely. Let's see where we land when we draw. Maybe Doomsday can bring it back for us. We did get Dryad, so we are gonna play her. Want to get Doomsday on rotation in the right spot, so cycling properly. Yeah, I don't think 42 is going to make or break us, so let's just go ahead and chuck this. I think he's going to have it no matter what here. <clears throat> yeah, that wouldn't have mattered, so that's probably the better play just to get it out of my hands, get some better cards going on for now. At least until we lose a couple rounds, then, then hell's more relevant. All right, there's our Statue of Liberty. We're going to play it with Sherman for sure. Probably play number 42 as well. Let's see what our opponent plays here. Seems to have a pretty good deck. So this one could give us a nice little run for our money. Ooh, hit everything with that Sherman there. You love to see that. <clears throat> so he's most likely a Dark Web deck. I can't remember, did he already play Dark Web? I'm blanking now. If I saw it or not. I saw Cyborg. Nope, he played Statue of Liberty. But I saw that Twin Paradox, so that leads me to believe he's got Dark Web, right? I feel like that's the only reason you play that card. Two cards, that's it. <clears throat> really? I was about to say. Ooh, he chose poorly on his antimatter there. We're going to play Lich, so we have lost at least one round. We're going to do it like this. Or, well, let's just look like 460 is probably good enough. What's that, Six 600 power he would need here? I don't think we need to play Jet Car. We'd probably hold it. <clears throat> No reason to play it if we don't need to. Deck doing good. I'm liking this deck, man. It really puts some power down. I'm beating up on some uh, some space decks here with these big cards. And I still feel like we could have tweaked this a little bit. Made it even better for the week. So I'm surprised we're still... Still stomping them down. I shouldn't speak too soon. We'll probably lose now because I said that. <laughs> Opponent playing all the buffers this turn. Up by 20, so we don't get our Willow, unfortunately. Just having bad luck with that all night.
Mm, probably go ahead and play Jet Car here. So I want to hold Hell in case we do lose this round and we can play it next turn. Or next round, I'm sorry. <clears throat> nice little Eye of Horus, Eye of Ra combo. And there's our statue and our doomsday clock. We are again we are gonna play it anyway, even though we're winning. Just need to keep it on cycle. And we're gonna do it like this. <clears throat> Let's see if it's gonna be enough. Maybe not. I think he can beat 475 if he really wanted to. But it looks like he can't. Good for us. We'll take it. All right, round four. Here we come. See if we can keep the momentum going. There's our Sherman. Right on time. like he chose right that time he wasn't going to make that same mistake <laughs> this deck having no trouble with its energy whatsoever you can see we're actually losing energy so we're not playing enough big cards. So again, probably some tweaks. You could take out Art Deco if you really wanted to. You could probably take out uh, Japanese Yen. But I don't know. It's up to you guys. Big turn for our opponent here. Close game. Only down by 20. This question becomes, do we play Agatha or do we hold her? Do we think we can win this? We've got some pretty meaty cards. We, we might be able to win this. Maybe we go for it. Not losing a whole lot. Nice 600 power. That's probably going to be enough. One of his cards got burned up a little bit anyway. Yeah, I think it's probably fine. I think we win right here. Let's see. I think that's going to do it. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the deck. Again, I think it was a pretty neat deck. Definitely uh, surprised me with the amount of power it was able to put down like that. Uh, especially pretty early, too. Early rounds, it was putting down quite a bit of power. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If so, again, please smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button bottom right corner. And uh, if you guys would like to see anything in the future, just drop me a comment down below. And uh, we'll try to, if anything, I'll put it on the list and it will come up eventually. I'm still... Just working through, slowly scratching scratching these ideas off my list as I go. So uh, that, that is one more right now I'm about to scratch off. So we'll, uh, we'll get to them all. But I hope, hope, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.